Say hola. Yay. All right, you all. It's Fly with Fly Heritage flying high once again. This time I have some very, very, very special guests in the building or outside. I got YBE, the young black expats, including an incredibly young black expat right here. Say hola. Yes. <laughs> Oh, she finds that hilarious. <laughs> but the Young Black Expats are a part of the Travel Star series that I'm doing. And these are some true travel stars. They are expat stars. And I am so, so happy that they agreed to do this video. But now that they're family, they couldn't have said no to me anyway. Absolutely, no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> so the first question that I have for you all is you all are known in the YouTube community and outside of it as the young black expats as your name implies and I know that many people reach out to you asking for advice um, on moving abroad when you all were in Costa Rica and now that you all have moved to Medellin was that something that you all expected and if not how have you all handled it? Well really when we first did our very first video for young black expats it was basically just Mitch saying, well, you know, we traveled. We Let's did. just show them our perspective. Like, because before we moved to Costa Rica, it was just different cultures in their perspective on how to live. You know, especially for us being in communities, um, urban communities, what they were saying that was bad, it wasn't anything for us. So I just wanted to have it as our perspective. And um, so we were just taping. And it went from there. It snowballed into, into something that, that was big. Exactly. So we were not expecting the huge response that we have been getting. But, you know, um, it's all welcome because we really want people. We don't advocate any country. We don't advocate Costa Rica. No. We don't advocate Medellin. Medellin. No. We're just advocating for our people to step outside of the box to explore other countries if that's what you want to do you know not everybody wants to do that but for the people that really want to do it inside we want to show you that it can be done and show you that people are out there doing it so that's why we created the young black expats yeah, just and, go for it yep and do you all welcome and encourage people to reach out to you because i know sometimes people are a little hesitant to reach out to people that they see online or people that have already done it. Do you all encourage that? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. Please. Absolutely. Yeah. We have a um, a email address questions at young and black .com. Questions at young black .com. Okay. And basically just reach out to that email address. We get everything from, you know, how much was the plane ticket there to, you know, how much does it cost to move to another country to, you know, what do you eat in the morning? Yeah. Okay, so Donna, you and I um, have spoken about this and we both have YouTube channels and people reach out to both of us. But what makes um, the contact or the connection different? Because they reach out to me, to me in different ways than they do the young black expats. Do you know why that would be or you have any ideas about what that could be? I'm putting Selah down, sorry guys. Um. What I think it could possibly be it's just the family dynamic yeah. you know um, even you know we're young um, we're traveling but then also the fact that we had a baby in a different country you know we had um, you know so yeah we had Salah in Costa Rica so so maybe I'm thinking that more more people can I mean there's a lot of single people out there there's a lot of other you know um, profiles that are looking to travel abroad we get single people that hit us up all the time as well but I think people are more attracted to the fact that it's just a full family out making it happen in another country and living exactly so like, it's different like we live in right you know in sometimes country. people travel to different countries and then right. versus living there and and being a resident or perfect, or, perfect. so that's that may be the difference tell me what has been the greatest surprise and the greatest challenges that you all have faced in moving abroad whether it be Costa Rica or here or a combination of both 
So my biggest surprise personally for me was just the fact that, you know, it just seemed like we were at home. We fit in. It just seemed like we fit in. There were, you know, the people are so friendly, so nice, so much willing to help. You know, um, they just go over and beyond in Costa Rica and here in uh, Medellin. So that was a surprise to me because, you know, we're so used to, you know, being discriminated against that we think that in every country that people just don't like us. But that's just furthest from the truth. Um, the biggest surprise for me was actually having my daughter in another country. Yeah, that's and it was, it, was, it, was a, it was a surprise because we had a natural birth and yeah, at things home. of that nature. Yeah, yeah in a so different country. That was the biggest yeah. surprise. And it, it was so beautiful. Yeah. It was so beautiful. I agree with that one. That's a good one, too. And then the biggest, what was it, disappointment? The yeah. greatest challenges that you faced. The greatest faced. challenge. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my greatest challenge was the language barrier because I like to talk. I am a communication specialist, so to speak. And not knowing the words that I need to use or not really knowing the language, that's difficult. And I'm basically like speaking on a third grade level, you know, my Spanish. And, um, and, and really it's so funny because I feel like success in the language is when they totally understand, like the locals understand what I'm saying. So when they answer, we have a conversation, even though I know it's third grade-ish, and we're still having the, the conversation, then that makes me feel like, yes, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the biggest challenges for me was to uh, deprogram myself. Mm. What I mean is... That's a good one. When, you, when you're African-American in, in America, you have a defense mechanism. And especially, I mean, you know, uh, being in an urban area. So it was, it was, it was basically when you get there, you had to change your demeanor, stop being all defensive. Yes. And everyone is not out to get you. No. So you really have to depro deprogram yourself um, as far as, you know, uh, dealing with the culture, dealing with the people, um, make sure you, you're friendly, you know, things of that nature. So deprogramming was very, a, cha a challenge for me. You know, um, especially going to a different country where they, they're they like, well, it's very dangerous, it's dangerous. Why you wanna go there? Why you wanna do that? And I'm like, well, in the hood, you know, people are dying. Like, so what's what's scary to some people is not scary for me because we, we you know, I actually been through that. I actually saw those things. And it's common in America, especially in the urban community. So it was nothing to me to, to make that change and, and, and to move because we'd have been through a lot. Exactly, and so, it's not as scary as people yeah, try to make it seem. You know, um, it, it, and, and really what's going on in, um, in the United States as of late, I'm telling you, it's like yeah. scary just to be there. Yes. You know, and, 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 so, and so being in a different country where you know, I really even feel like the police officers here are like so apologetic <laughs> that they even they go their, above they, and beyond yeah, it's, it's to a, make it's you a, comfortable. It, to me, it's a different level. I mean, you can yes. walk past, we live right by a police station and, and it was all love. So it's just different, you know, it's different. I know you all are travel stars, expat stars. What should the people know? Just do it, life is too short. Yo, know, life is too short to sit back and not act and complain. Too many people are, are, are thinking, and that's good. That's a good thing, but you're doing too much research. Just go ahead and, and experience the moment. Go ahead and experience the moment. Exactly, Emma. If you have a timeline and it's two years, that means to get work on your dreams now. Get work on your goals now. Do it now because time flies and it goes much quicker than you so, when you have a timeline uh, that far out, you tend to kind of chill, and then then your timeline gets pushed further back to five years. Another one, no, and, and, and one more thing, one more thing, because you know we have a right to complain. Don't get me wrong. Yes. We we have been through a lot of stuff, but you can't be in your misery complaining 
without they, making they, action, you're not taking action, forward. if you're not, you know, moving forward towards something. You can't they keep complaining they like they treat you bad um, and things of that nature. You have a passport. Yeah. You have a blue passport. And if you don't, get it. Exactly. You have a USA passport. Oh. That means you like, are free like, to go. You don't have to be abused. No. You can take your passport and leave and go and find something else. And I guarantee you, sometimes it's better on the other side. Absolutely. So just take, take that chance because, I mean, what, what can be the worst thing that can happen? You go, you go home. Back. You go home. That's it. So what would you all say to people that are either closely approaching their deadline or those that have already taken the leap and they're feeling a little nervous, a little anxious, or maybe they have a little doubt about their decision? Any words of encouragement or words of real you can give them? Absolutely. Um, Really, each person is going to be at a different point in their life. To have something as big as a living abroad change. And so what I mean by that is like, when some people land in a different country, they're like, oh my gosh, look at all the sights, look at this and look at that. But then some people, they may go into a slight depression because first of all, their family may not be, you know, one-on-one -on -one or, or, or uh, supporting their move. Um, they yeah. may, you know, not be used to the culture, may not be used to the, the language or, or anything. It could be anything that causes them to go into this thing. All I just really want you to know is that is normal, that's natural. That's normal. It's really a time for you to go inside yeah. and ask yourself questions of why am I feeling this way? What is it that's really causing these emotions inside of me? And so, you know, everyone goes through it. Everyone. We we went through it. Exactly. Change is hard. Yeah. Most people do not like change. Mm -hmm. That's it. But change is coming whether you like it or not. Exactly. So you gotta deal with it. Exactly. You know, and those are those are I mean emotions that you gotta go through. That's just the process. Exactly. So we've been through all those emotions. Yeah, and, and when you're and when you're in another country, you know, that can also be time to start meditating if you're not already. That's a time to, you know, start really, you know, going deep within and and you know, just just really feeling good and knowing what it is that your purpose is in life. Yeah. And sometimes it does take you leaving, yeah. getting outside of your environment to actually have time to ask those questions. Yeah. And what I say too is if if you don't like it somewhere else, then you're going to appreciate where you live at even more. Exactly. So it's yeah. a win-win situation both ways. Exactly. You know, if, if you move out of the country yeah. and then decide that you have to go back home, the things that you used to complain about, you will appreciate you're it. like, oh man, I was tripping. I need to go back home and exactly. enjoy that. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, the pro we've been through the process and most people have been through the, through the process because it's changed. So just just go through it and you'll, you'll, you'll be rewarded at the end. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mitch, Donna, Selah. Young black expats. Oh, look at that. That's the perfect ending to this video. <laughs>